Hey guys, welcome back for more Tales of Vesperia. Last time I showed off Judith's special skill and uh, let's go all out. I'm heading us the message for her. I didn't know you could fight like that. Yeah, neither did I actually. That was my first time. Really? You sure put on a good show. <laughs> I thought it might be better to go all out, you know? Baul agrees. <laughs> I'm sure he does. We're counting on you, Judith. And I'm counting on you. Yay! Baul was in a little back message. Anyways, I'm going to switch back to Yuri, and, uh, Estelle doesn't know special, does she? No, she does not. Okay, well, I'm going to do magic lenses for this area I was in before. Uh, as you can see, I am over in the, uh, top left, the, uh, northwest section there on some of these islands. We haven't had anything here before, so, okay, let's go and have some fun. And we got a double battle up first. I'm gonna go a little crazy here. Okay, so the main uh, concern you'll have in this area is from these flora manta mantis things because they cause stone. Uh, their claws, like some of the mantis you've seen before, cause poison and paralysis. These ones cause stone, which is basically KO, uh, and will actually stop you from gaining experience and all that. So you just need to be careful of that. You saw that in the battle with where I showed off Judith's thingamajigger. That was a massive battle. Uh, and here we got Venomy. I'm guessing these guys poison you, but I can't remember. Well, the vein like Venomy, you should think that. Uh, these guys shouldn't be any problem. I'm level 50 right now, so... At level 50, you can pretty much handle anything on the map. Uh... Yeah, this is going to be a little side video. Most of these, most of the next little while is going to be uh, side quests, but uh, we're going to start off with a couple of big things. Uh, we're not going to go to Zaude right away. We've got a lot of ground to cover here. And, oh, a big dude. Ah, I'm stoned. See? Ha! Yuri got stoned. Yuri's stoned. Ah, oh, wait. Yeah, magic item had to use. Ah, oh, and there's a recover. Again, with Estelle and the fighting of the uh, skills. Um, magic lens on the big dude. Pain corn? Cool. That sounds cool. Uh, da -dum -da -dum. Come on, just die. Oh, right, I'm learning skills. <laughs> and, because I'm out of the range. Ah! I guess that needs to be close range. Hey, I can heal two Estelle. Ha <laughs> ha. And a lot of my guys learned skills when I was trying to get Judith's skill off, because I screwed up a bunch of times. Did I learn that Kalinga weapon yet? I noticed that while I was editing. I had that, and... Oh, I guess I... Yeah, I did finish it. Okay. Um... Life Healer and Spe Spirit heal Healer is pretty good. Combination 2. That's what I want. Second star. So, as you can see, it also has special on it. You get this during the story, but, uh... So, you don't... If you... No, you do lose Dane Nomos eventually, but uh, so that you can learn it off that weapon as well. Special. Um, item Pro Two is a good one. Uh, combo Plus. Nothing. Oh, Song of whatever it is. And she's still learning. Oh, Tyrant Fist. Right, I I created a lot of these and didn't equip them. Uh, that's worth a look. Okay. Uh, well, let's uh, stopping enemies. Wow, the hourglass is really amazing. The enemies just stop moving. Yeah, certainly makes it easier to win battles. You can get ready for what's next. Attack enemies, change battle formation, and if we're having trouble running away from enemies, this makes it a cinch. Oh, and it even lets us keep enemies from running away. It's seriously awesome. Hourglass! Personally, I find this way easier. <sighs> but I didn't even use an hourglass recently. <laughs> um, there's a new enemy. That's the last enemy in this area, so I'll get this over with. Uh, big rhino dudes with big, huge horns. Hey, they're called rhinos. Uh... EX Rhino. 20 grand. 20k. Uh, these guys are more annoying than anything. They're kind of dangerous, but in reality, you just need to stay away from their nose. Ow, see? 
Ah! Got get. You are mine. I declare you my corpse. Hey, Judith, my corpse. Bad Judith. Hey, go Raven. You're healing. No, bad. Double healing. Oh, I'm out of uh, no orange gel of awesomeness. Level ups! Yay! So yeah, I was leveling up in this area before, but that's all for this area. There's a couple of I neat islands out here. Uh, we're going to come back here for a side quest in a little bit, but... Uh, uh, there's also a Giganto monster? I don't think you can fight it yet, but there's a Giganto monster in one of these islands as well. Um, this area is kind of cool. I think that it becomes unflooded later on. There's a stump in there. I don't know, these islands are kind of neat. There's fog in the area, but whatever. That's something that'll be useful later on. Uh, still a ways to go. <laughs> huh? What are you writing? Item names? Yes, I'm working on the collector's book. Look how many items we have already. Wow, you filled in a lot. It must be fun since you like books so much. Well, keep up the good... No, from what I can see, yes. It looks like it's only about halfway complete. What? H halfway? Keep on working on it, and come back when you've made some real progress. Uh, uh, I'll fill this book up all the way, and then I'll make you eat your words. Didn't this used to be your book, Rita? <laughs> oh man, these two are having fun. So yeah, we're halfway through the collector's book, apparently. That's kind of neat. Um, but... Oh, uh, what do we do now? I don't know. There's a couple of things we can do. Oh, this place is kind of... That's also going to come up in a little while, side quest-wise. Um, oh, this is the area where you can fight the Giganto monster. That's one of the last... That was the last one I killed, I think. Um, it's Dongrest. I'm not exactly sure where I want to go now. Okay, well, let's go... I know there's some stuff to do in one of these harbors. Let's go to one of the harbors. As I said before, this is going to be a couple of side quest videos for a while now. And we are in Kapua Noor. Forgot to take a look. Uh, <laughs> um, if we go up here, we should find an old face, I think. Yeah, there he is. Hey. I will take back what I have learned. You allowed that to rise again. You cannot be trusted with De Nomos. Do you know what that thing is? The legacy of the ancients. A giant Blastia that could save the world from impending doom. But you have allowed it to fall into hands that would use it for ill purposes. All things must be returned to their proper places. Begin by returning that sword to me. Wait. If this should be returned to its proper place, wouldn't that mean giving it to Estelle? Nothing would be more fruitless than giving it to one who cannot use it properly. For us, Dane Nomos was never anything more than proof of Imperial lineage. So perhaps you are better suited to wield it. Hmm. So if you don't mind, could you let me keep it a little longer? We're going to stop Alexei ourselves, and we need this to do it. Very well. However, if you should waver before the task you face, I will come again to claim the sword. Okay, let's go. Yay! It all comes back one day. Hey, that change we got for what we bought, it had Rita's name written on it. What? Rita! Rita! What's all the commotion? Our money came back to us with that last purchase we made. Look! <gasps> Didn't I tell you? Our money comes back and it brings its friends. Huh? You mean that wasn't just a fairy tale? Rita Mordio. It has your full name? How embarrassing! I thought Estelle was spending more money than usual, so that was your doing. Money is one thing, but what were you thinking? Writing your name on all the tools. Say someone buys one of our tools and likes it. Maybe they'll give us a little something in return. Talk about greedy. All right, but would you at least quit writing your name on all the gels? Rita, we have to eat those. B but... <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, there was supposed to be another scene in here if you have collected enough of the... Uh 
in the monster book. About halfway, there's supposed to be a scene in here, but obviously I haven't gotten that far yet in the monster book. Guess we're not halfway through it yet. Any hoozle. Um, yeah, next episode we're going to be having a little bit of fun and going to kill a giganto monster, so see you guys next time.